Hey guys, so today I just wanted to do a quick review of the Ipsy bags from July and August. First of all, I'm just going to do a little disclaimer here. They are doing yard work outside the apartment right now. So if you do randomly hear like lawnmowers or weed eaters or whatever, I'm sorry. I've been trying to sit down and film this for like 30 minutes and every time I do, they keep coming back like under our window. So if you do hear like machinery, I'm really, really sorry. But I really don't have any other time to film this video. So I'm just going to have to go. We're just going to have to power through. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I've really wanted to subscribe to Ipsy for a while. I used to subscribe to the elf beauty bundles i think is what they were called and it was like a every other monthly subscription and it was just like random stuff you know just like a normal beauty subscription but it just kind of got boring after a while like i realized i was just accumulating the same stuff over and over again and i didn't need all of these products so i discontinued that a few years ago but i used to do those videos or unboxings or whatever for you guys here and i know that some of you really enjoyed it so I decided I was going to try Ipsy, but the reason why I haven't tried it before is because I was under the impression that you just got sent a bunch of random stuff and you didn't know what it was going to be, obviously, um, but it was just all products that you didn't know what they, you know, like, you didn't know what the companies were going to be. And I didn't want to subscribe and pay for something that was not going to be cruelty free. So I had not really done my research on it, I will admit. I just assumed that it was just like a bunch of random, like, higher end samples and and thought some of it wasn't going to be cruelty free. But then when I actually like went to sign up or like I went to do my research on it, I realized that you could say like, no, I only buy cruelty free products and then they would only send you cruelty free brands. So I've gotten two months worth of subscriptions now. And from what I understand, like I've done my research on all the products and from everything I've read, it seems like all these products are actually cruelty free. Some of the companies I've never heard of, but once I researched them, I've actually found some companies I really like and will probably continue to buy stuff from. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just going to try it out this month and see what you guys think of the video. If you like this kind of video, then I'll probably do them every other month because I feel like if I were to do them every month, I only upload once a week. So it'd be like every fourth video is going to be an Ipsy bag review video. <laughs> and that would get kind of boring and repetitive for all of us, I think. So I'll probably do them like every other month or um, maybe just like randomly if I get a really good bag or something. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Like if you guys really like this, then maybe I'll do like every two months. If you don't, then hey, maybe I won't do it again. <laughs> I'm just going to try this out and see if you guys like it because I enjoy watching these kinds of videos and I enjoy doing them as well. I enjoy like sharing my opinions with you guys. So without any further ado, I'm just going to get right on into it. So here was July's glam bag. I really, really like this. Like, this is a bag that I will actually use. It currently sits, like, on my, um, like, on my sink on the little counter space, and it holds, like, all of my liquid lipsticks that I use often because I wanted to kind of separate them from everything else, but I'm tired of having little, like, bins sitting around on my, um, on my counter because it just kind of gets cluttered. So I have this little bag that I just, like, keep on top of my makeup bin, like, my daily makeup bin, and it works great. So I really like this. I would like travel with this and show this off um I rotate the bags that I keep in my actual purse so maybe this would be a bag that I would throw in there someday who knows um but yeah I really like it it's like this aqua teal whatever holographic like oh my gosh I love anything hollow and it's just so cute and it's like I don't know if you can kind of hear how that sounds it's like that waterproof material almost so if I were to throw this like in a travel bag and it got wet or something like I feel like everything in here would be protected and the bag itself wouldn't get ruined either. And I also really like how the zipper is like on the front like this. I really like bags like that because I feel like you have a little extra space like up in here to tuck things and, and whatnot. So yeah, I really, really like the actual glam bag for July. And then all the products were pretty decent. I was pretty happy with everything. Um, so the first thing in here that I've really enjoyed is this Mana Cat or I don't know if I'm saying that right, Beauty. And then this is, this is a step two polish. Um, it's a flawless finish dual powder and this is actually in the shade c3 flawless linen and this is actually a little dark for me if i were to repurchase this i would probably go like with c1 or c2 uh usually i go with like the fairest shade there is and usually a neutral or a neutral or a cool tone uh so this is a little warm and a little dark for me but i really like the formula of it i've been using this as a setting powder over my lighter foundations in the summer because i know i still look super pale on camera but this is actually like really tan for me like i don't tan at all uh, just because I am naturally a redhead and I'm very fair skinned so I don't tan at all even if I 
do get a little bit of a color in the summer it's still pretty pale but um yeah so this is kind of dark for me so i have been using this just to set my lighter foundations over the summer uh, but i really really like the formula of it it sets well it like lasts all day it pretty much stops the oily shine through that i usually have about halfway through the day so yeah i would repurchase this definitely but it would be in a lighter shade for sure the next thing in here that i've really really enjoyed is this lorac eyeliner um from what i can tell it just says it's a black eye pencil front of the line pro i think i would repurchase this as well I really like it because, I don't know if you can see here, but it rolls up, so you don't have to deal with sharpening it, and I mean, there's a lot more eyeliner there to go. So I really like that model, and like it rolls all the way back down, so you don't have to deal with like accidentally wasting some of the product when you put the cap back on. I assume the full-size product would be like that as well. I assume the mini is like the you know, just like a smaller version of the full size. So I assume that it would also have that roll up design as well. So I would probably repurchase this also. I usually just go for, um, with black eyeliners, I only use it to tight line when I wear winged eyeliner, which isn't even all that often anymore, um, despite the fact that I'm wearing it today. So I usually just go with my little $3 e.l.f. black pencil eyeliner because it's cheap and I don't use it all that often, but it does tend to transfer. Like I squint my eyes together a lot like this because my eyes get really dry and that $3 e.l.f. liner does tend to transfer like down to my lower lid. So I might repurchase this is all I'm saying. Like I really like this. Also, I know you can probably hear cicadas in the background. Fuck cicadas, right? Oh, I'm so over them. Gosh, there's so many like background noises in my video today. I'm really sorry for that. But yeah, anyway. Um, so the next thing in here is just this lipstick that I just dropped. Oh my gosh. That was embarrassing. Thankfully, I didn't actually like ruin <laughs> the product or anything. Um, so it's just this lipstick and it's just a normal lipstick, which y'all know I don't really wear normal lipsticks all that often at least not on a, like, on a daily basis or to go out or anything. But I have not even used this. Um, I don't know that I ever will. I'll swatch it just so you guys can see it. It's a really pretty color. Like, that's pretty. But it's not very me. So I don't know. I might wear it in like videos or something, you know. I don't know. Running out for groceries. I don't know. I just like a quick easy thing that I need maybe like just need some color on my lips but don't want to put on any other makeup but just I don't know want a random color it's pretty but it's just like a very bright fuchsia color and that's not very me like I don't really wear bright lipsticks all that often I don't wear pink all that often it's not very me at all but I mean it was my first glam bag so like I wouldn't expect them to know me and like I remember in their review I told them like I don't really like lipsticks like I don't really like this color the brand seems fine. The brand is La Butte Fatale, which like I did my research on and it's a fine brand. And this is actually the color Vibrate if you do like this color and you want to repurchase it. And I do like the fact that it's a full size product. Like that's kind of cool because a lot of most of the things in your Ipsy bags is going to be samples if you've never done Ipsy before. But um, so I do like the fact that it was a full, fi full size product, but like I'm just not ever going to wear that color. So that was like the only thing in this bag that I was kind of bummed about, but I feel like once, like, you know, once you do your reviews and everything, they get to know you and they're going to hopefully not send you anything like that again. They'll send you things you actually like. So the last two things in here were cleansers, which is fine. I would rather have beauty products, but I do remember saying that I like cleansers, cleansers and exfoliators and stuff like that. So uh, they did send me some and, and that's cool. Like, I always need backups. So the first thing is this Pure Skin Face Cleanser with Fab Antioxidant Booster from First Aid August. Fab is First Aid Beauty. <laughs> LOL. Um, it says it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime, and safe for sensitive skin. So definitely something that I like. It also says it's allergy tested and fragrance free, and it really doesn't have a smell at all. I've used this once or twice, and I feel like, I mean, it got all the dirt off my face and makeup and everything like that. I did feel cleansed, but it's quite liquidy. Like, I was surprised at how runny it was so I don't really like the formula itself as far as the product sorry this is like really washed out I was trying to actually like show you the bottle but um yeah I don't actually like the formula itself as far as the consistency of it but like the product is good if that makes sense so I probably wouldn't repurchase this but I like it like if someone gave it to me I would use it and then the last thing I have in the July bag is this Ahava time to clear facial mud exfoliator 
and I guess it's from the clear line. I don't really know. I actually have not tried this at all because I have a couple of similar products that are open right now and this one was like actually sealed. So I don't know anything about this. Um, I hope it's going to be a good product. It says it's approved for sensitive skin and to use it once or twice a week. So it's pretty much like I said the other like exfoliators I have. Um, I hope it doesn't have a weird smell. That is something I really liked about the First Aid Beauty. I know I mentioned that it was fragrance free, but like it actually does not have a scent. Like I can't smell anything right now. And I love that because sometimes cleansers, like they're really good cleansers, but they have a horrible smell. And I'm really, really sensitive to, sensitive to smells. So I really like when things are fragrance free. Uh, I mean, I like a pleasant scent obviously, but what's pleasant to me might not be to someone else and vice versa. So fragrance free things really tend to draw me in because I know they're not going to irritate me or cause a migraine or anything. So yeah, that was July's glam bag. Overall, I would say like seven and a half to eight out of 10. It was, it was a good glam bag, but this, like I said, it was my first one and I signed up, filled out like all of my um, preferences and everything like that. And then literally like a week later, they sent this out. So I know it was kind of rushed on their end. Like I know they were kind of just taking everything from my profile and trying to find something that I would like so it wasn't super super personalized yet but August glam bag I feel like was way more personalized so I do have to say I don't like the glam bag itself like the actual bag it is orange and yellow which if you guys know me is not really my thing I do want to say I'm actually a lot happier with the glam bag than I thought I was gonna be when they send you like the little preview thing um, I looked at the picture of the glam bag and it looked like it was neon orange and I was like oh god that's so ugly but then it came and it's actually more of a pastel orange so it's okay but this is the bag that sits like under my sink and holds all of like my backups and extras right now because I just don't really like it. Like this tassel is kind of weird. I don't, I mean, I like bags that zip on the top. It's fine, but I like bags that zip on the side better. And also this one is cloth. So I probably would not travel with this just because I feel like it wouldn't travel well. Like it's already gotten some dirt on it. It picks up everything. Um, it's already gotten some like eyeliner smudges and stuff just from sitting under my sink. I've maybe opened it like twice since I put it under there. So yeah, it doesn't wear all that well, but the products in it are definitely an improvement this month so i'm just going to start with the first thing i'm pulling out here which is this eyeliner this is by rivetre or rivet rivetre by starbucks i'm probably saying that wrong Riveter, riveter I, I'm, I don't know it looks like it's french by starlux that's the brand and it's the luxe pin artist edition so on one end it has a felt tip eyeliner which is my absolute most favorite eyeliner the only eyeliner i will wear for winged eyeliner is felt tip eyeliner. I know I used to be different. I used to do like gel and liquid and all that. I don't even mess with that anymore. It's too much work. Transfers too easily. Felt tip is the only thing that I want to work with. Um, so this is felt tip. It's great. I actually have it on my eyes today. It lasts all day, all night. It is amazing. I've never had a felt tip eyeliner that did not transfer as good as this one other than the Fenty eyeliner. <laughs> so I don't know how expensive, like I don't know if this is a full size product or a sample. To me this looks like it's could be full size, um, especially because it has double ends, which I'll get to that in just a second. So yeah, I believe this is actually probably a little bit cheaper than the Fenty. So if I do need to repurchase this, I might go with this over the Fenty. The Fenty has like a, a slimmer felt tip. This has a fatter tip. I'm not trying to like directly compare this to Fenty. It's just the only two eyeliners I have right now um, that I'm using regularly. So this one is a little bit fatter, but I really, really like this. It's a great formula. It's a good pin. Lasts all day. And also, how awesome is this? It has, well, I don't know why I'm showing this to you. Like you can actually see it, but it has like a little star stamp at the end. And I actually have it on my face today, a little star stamp. The stamp lasts all day as well. And I actually really liked this so much that I was inspired to buy a similar one. I think it's from a different company, but it was like the same idea with the stamp, but it had a moon stamp because I feel like the moon is more me than the star, but like also a little moon and star be cute together. I don't know. So I've been playing around with that. I've been wearing stamps on my face. I don't know why. It's, I feel like a child, but I love it. Like it's, it's such a look, I like it. So that was like 10 out of 10 for me. This next thing is also 10 out of 10 for me. It's actually what I have on my lips. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick, and it's in the color, I don't like the name of the color, it's called Trophy Wife. Um, but I really like the formula of the lipstick. It is, it says it's a liquid matte lipstick, and I would agree it's a little bit shinier than like my ColourPop lipsticks, or even like my Anastasia liquid lipsticks, but I really like the formula of it. It lasts all day. Like right now it doesn't feel sticky. 
it doesn't transfer very easily and it doesn't feel super super dry either that's probably my favorite thing about this like I like the formula of this probably even better than I like the Anastasia formula and definitely way better than I like ColourPop. That's my other main two liquid lipsticks that I use. Um, but this one is not drying at all and the other two can kind of be by the end of the day. But this one is awesome. I will definitely be repurchasing this. Like I love the color. I've been looking for like a, a pinky nude, like a, you know, a neutral nude that wasn't like brown, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like something that's a little more pinky, a little more natural skin tone, whatever for me. So yeah, this is amazing. And I will actually be purchasing some more things from Huda Beauty. For some reason, I was under the impression that Huda was not cruelty free. Same thing with Lorac, the eyeliner from the July bag. I was like, Lorac isn't cruelty free, but I did my research on both companies and they are. So I don't know where I got that from. Maybe they didn't used to be, I don't know, but this is gonna be like a new staple for me with my liquid lipsticks and also like this is another full size this is awesome um i'm in love with this so yeah first two things that i pulled out of the glam bag this this month i was like yes this is awesome can you please not do that i'm trying to do a video oh my god all right and the next thing i was actually very impressed with as well like i was very skeptical i was like this is not gonna work but it does um, this is the Billion Dollar Brows Mini, I just threw it, Mini Universal Brow Pencil. And it doesn't have a shade because it says it's a universal color. And I was like, that's not real. That's not going to work for everyone. It does. At least it works for me. Um, it looks pretty much just like a medium brown when you roll it out. Like even here you can kind of see the colors like a medium brown. And I was like, that's going to be way too light for me. But honestly, it's not. I actually have it on my brows today. Um, I do have some like black brow setting gel over top because that's why I've been doing my brows lately. I've been doing like a brown brow with a black setting gel uh, because my hair is kind of like a black brown. It's like it's more of a black but then it fades to a brown after a couple weeks. Um, so I've been using like a mix of dark brown and black on my brows to kind of help look a little more natural with my hair. So I was like this is not going to be dark enough like there's no way but it was. I was very impressed. So I don't know how this would work for someone with lighter hair. I think it would work for anyone with like medium brown to black hair. If you have lighter hair, like a blonde, or like, you know, even a light brown, I don't know how this would work. It might still look great. I don't know. But I don't have that color hair, so I can't tell you. The only way you would know, I guess, is just try it and find out for yourself. But I don't know if it's universal. Like, I can't truly say if it's universal, but it worked for me, and I was very impressed. And it lasts all day. It's waterproof. I was very impressed with this. I don't like how it's, well, it's kind of flat now because I've been using it, but it's more of like a tip, like it comes to a point. I like brow pencils that are like have that flat angled end to them because I just feel like it works better with like trying to shape everything and add in hairs because I have kind of sparse brows. Um, so I don't like the way the pencil is actually shaped so I don't know if I'd repurchase it but I was very impressed like 9 out of 10 for sure. Also something else I really really loved like you can actually tell if the packaging is already a little worn because I've been using this regularly. Um, it's Kaleido Cosmetics which I had never heard of but it's a cruelty free brand that I'm now so in love with and this is a highlighter. It's called a skin blush like it actually says a softest skin blush and it's in the color prom queen but it's it's a highlighter let's be honest so it's got a little bit of a pinky tint to it but it's really worked I feel like for summer and I think it'll work for fall as well. I mean I guess it could work for winter and spring also. I don't see why it couldn't. Um, we've just been in summer and we're going into fall. That's why I said that. But let's be honest. I'm just bullshitting. It could work for any time. So, yeah, I really, really like this. It is a beautiful color. Like, it's a pale, like, champagne with kind of, like, orangey undertones almost. Which I didn't think would work with my skin at all. Because I was like, oh, that's too warm for my skin. Like, it won't look good. It looks so good. I need all of their highlighters and blushes. I need everything from Kaleido Cosmetics. Um, like even the packaging says cruelty free no matter what and it says certified vegan and gluten free which I don't know why you'd want to buy gluten free beauty products. Like I thought the whole purpose of going gluten free was for like digestive issues but if you want to go the extra mile this is also gluten free. Um, and like I said I thought it was cool that it was also vegan and it even says like cruelty free no matter what on their packaging. Actually a lot of this stuff has ended up being being vegan too which is cool. I am not vegan but I was impressed by how much of the stuff that's actually cruelty free is also vegan as well. So yeah Kaleido Cosmetics is a 10 out of 10 for me. I would definitely repurchase this. I just bought the Anastasia 
uh, Moon Glow highlight kit, so I don't need a new highlight for a long time, but when I do, I feel like I'll probably go with this because it's cheaper, it's <laughs> more budget friendly, and it's a really, really good product. And then the last thing in here is just another cleanser. I really like this as well. I remember my mom actually used to have this, so I would use it like a couple times a week, even though I didn't really need it as a teenager, but it's the Age Reform AHA slash BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. And I really, really like this. Um, this is a great exfoliator. It's from the brand Murad, I guess is how you say that. Also a brand that I didn't used to think was cruelty free, but maybe they are now. Um, I don't see anything on here. Like it says it's all Murad. Like they don't even seem to be owned by a parent company. Maybe they are, I don't know. But I, like I did my research. I can't remember because it all was like such a blur. Uh, but I did my research on Murad and they appeared to be a cruelty free company, which impressed me a lot because I thought they weren't. But. Yeah, I don't know where I'm getting all of my information from, guys. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this cleanser. It's really, really good. I've used it before. I've used it a couple times. Like, I've used this one a couple of times. It also doesn't really seem to have a scent. Like, like even on my face, I couldn't really smell anything. It's not as harsh of an exfoliator as other exfoliators I've used. It's more creamy, which I really like, but it actually, like, gets the dead skin cells off and everything. So... I really, really like this. I would recommend this as a cleanser, and this is something I probably would repurchase um, whenever I run out of like the cleansers I have currently. So, yeah, overall, I would say I was really, really pleased with this glam bag. This was like a nine and a half out of ten, for sure. Like this was great. I hate the bag. I wish this bag had come in July's glam bag. Like I wish all of this stuff had come in July's glam bag, because then I'd probably be like ten out of ten. Um, but yeah, so that's what was in August. Um, like I said, I'll probably do these a couple months at a time because since I only upload once a week, I feel like one of out of my four videos every month being Ipsy would get really repetitive and boring. But if you guys really like this, just let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. Just let me know in the comments. Whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, let me know if you love this or hate this and if you want to see more or if you never want to see this again. Um, and I hope you're having a great day as always and oh did you guys notice my new setup back here? I have some new decor. I have some Halloween decor over here. I did some new stuff with like my crystals and stuff back here and then I have like some new stuff hanging up above me, behind me, whatever. So I hope you like that. I'm super thrilled with it. I think it looks witchy and I like it. Yeah. So hope you guys are having a great day again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.